I enjoyed Mr. R's chemistry class very much. At first, I was struggling with the C and wasn't understanding the curriculum. The sixth grading period, everything pulled together. I learned about oxidation re reduction reactions, electrochemistry, hydrocarbon, hydrocarbon co compounds and function groups, DNA models, and nuclear chemistry. My favorite thing to, that I learned about was the oxidation reduction reactions. Mr. R is the real MVP. This year I like chemistry sometimes. At first I was struggling with paying attention and doing work, but as the year went on, uh, I started turning in more work. I now have a B and I'm hoping to end with an A. The sixth grade period, everything clicked. My favorite thing about chemistry has been the labs, and my least favorite was stoichiometry. Mr. R is a great teacher. Mr. Mr. R's chemistry, there have been many memorable, memorable moments. We have learned many things, like the 100 scientific enhancements that changed the world, to our water quality testing field trips. In all our learning, we have also had fun with all the off-topic moments in class about so many subjects that I can't even remember. Hopefully, we can all move forward with the knowledge that Mr. Rasmussen has gave to us. and. God bless America. Amen. Beautiful. Uh, this year in Mr. R's third period class, I had a lot of fun learning about chemistry. My favorite thing we did in this class was sing the periodic table song. My favorite chapter we learned about was chapter 13, which was state, states of matter. I enjoyed the multiple labs we did throughout the year and learned a lot from them. God bless America. Amen. In Mr. R's chemistry class, I have learned many things, such as uh, Madison never fails to say something that makes people laugh, like that time when she asked about Mr. R's ring when we went to that 15 minute discussion about it being tattooed. Um, girls in yoga pants never fail to distract boys from getting chemistry done. Juan's hair looked the exact same all year long, um, and if Juan was here today, he would have called me Shooter as I was giving this speech. Um, at least five of the bottles over, in the, over there in the corner have been there all year long. I hear yeah, doggy, at least once this class. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and, la and last but not yeah, least, dog. Angel sucks at rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, doggy. <laughs> oh, yeah, and all that science stuff, too. Um, freshman year, I had my first class with Mr. R in integrated science. The following year, second semester, was biology with him. And this year, my junior year, I'm finishing chemistry with him. Three years of science with the great and wonderful Mr. Rathison. What I caught on to this year was that math and science are like relatives and are included in most subjects. Formulas, atomic numbers, and stoichiometry all related to math. <coughs> These are definitely my weak points for math is not my forte. What I enjoyed most in chemistry is when we planted trees in the bioswale with Graham Clatt. <coughs> it was both good for the earth and fun to do. I'm ending the year on a good note. I've learned to an A level and my knowledge is extended. This year in chemistry I've learned many things, all the way from matter and change to nuclear chemistry. The hardest thing for me this year was stoichiometry. I don't like math, so it wasn't a unit that clicked. The easiest unit for, for me was behavior of gases. I've known a lot about gases in seventh grade science. I hope to remember and retain what I've learned this year through college. I thank Mr. R for being a great chemistry teacher. This was an interesting year of chemistry. I'll admit, I did not think I was learning much, which was frustrating. It all seemed like we were just going through the motions, but when I took the chemistry assessment, I realized that a lot had actually stuck. I remember taking it early on and not doing so well, but when we took it again, I had done a lot better and noticed the difference. So I'd like to thank Mr. R for helping. It was a struggle. A few of the things that will always stick with me are what a catalyst is, inhibitors, and oxidation and reduction reactions. I think it is funny how you gain electron and reduction, yet they call it reduction. My favorite memory from chemistry will always be the periodic table song and when Angel cried. Hey, you sassy no. sailors. This is what I learned. In the school year, I learned a lot of chemistry. Some that I liked and some that I disliked. Here are the things that I liked. I liked the chapters 5 through 8. I especially liked stoichiometry because of the challenge. Probably everyone's going to hate me in that class for just saying that. Moving on, here's the things I disliked. 13 and six, 13 through 16, and 17 through 20, especially chapter 17. I never really had fun with those chapters. But overall, I had fun in this class, learning all the sciences and the wonderful world of chemistry. That is it.
In this class, I've learned a lot. We've had days that were super fast, and I missed the RQ. And we had five minutes to take a test. And we've had days that I wish we'd have gotten more done than we did. But maybe that's why I like this class so much. Mr. R's jingles or songs have been very help for me, helpful to me to remember certain things. And the labs are always fun. I don't think I'll ever understand stoichiometry, but I appreciate the time Razzle took to try to teach it to us. Thanks, Mr. R. Okay, so when I actually showed up to the class, I learned quite a lot. Um, I can now recite every element of the periodic table, and I know that we can make spider's web. Do it. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I, we can make spider's web out of goat's milk. Um, some things that I remember that were awesome about this class. Uh, the fact that I could wait until the last second to make up my grade, and Mr. Rasmussen, bless his heart, was so cooperative with me. Um, and also, I love the fact that he set me next to my best friend. It was probably not a very good choice, but it was fun. Um, thing I didn't like was stoichiometry, mostly because of the fact that I can barely say it, let alone do it. So if you can do it, I applaud you. Um, but yeah. That's, that's what I learned, and hopefully I'll remember this when I'm in college. So, how y'all doing? Alright. We were supposed to write a valediction, and you're probably all going to expect me to say something about chemistry or science or anything like that, but I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie my way through this. Um, you know, most of that stuff, it, it doesn't really stick with people. We're not really going to remember it. I mean, you go home and you bring, you know, your homework and your parents are always like, I, I don't remember any of this. You know, I, that was so long ago, it, it doesn't even stick with me anymore. So I just decided that I was gonna say some things that I actually think I will remember and will stay with me for a while. I'm always gonna remember the students, the classmates that were in my class because no matter who was failing, they always wanted you to pass more than even they did. And you know, I'm always gonna remember the teacher. I mean, come on, he's always walking through the lunchroom singing a song every day. And he's part of the play, and when he is, he never really calls you by your actual name anymore. He'll always call you by your character. And so, that kind of sticks with you for a while. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna remember all the work that we do because there's a reason that Rasmussen has us tie up all our notebooks together and create time capsules. It's because, you know, we're not gonna remember everything, but we're at least gonna remember the people that make a difference in our lives. And that's all I have to say for this class. All right, I like this class. Chemistry was fun. I learned what stuck in my head, but everything else is just kinda sitting there. Um, my favorite part was the gunpowder lab when we blew some stuff up outside. Um, but uh, I wish we learned what's on the tests, I guess. I got twos on all of them. <laughs> um, that could be because I play on my phone a lot. But um, other than that, I had a lot of fun in this class. And I think I learned a lot. All right, Jimmy. What I will remember from this class is how important carbon nanotubes are in scientific discoveries that change the world. I also learned more about the periodic table to the extent of singing a song about it. I remember our water quality field trips and how nice it was to get in nature and like climb trees and run through that field. And I remember that we found frog eggs in every developmental stage. What well, was hard for me is stoichiometry and I'm pretty confident that no one actually got it. And it just kind of went over everyone's head. But hey, whatever. Um, everything towards the end of the year kind of blurred together because it was just meaningless paperwork it felt like to me. But I did retain some stuff and I learned. The biggest thing that this class has taught me is that I can flash memorize 20 questions in one run through right before the test and still pass it with an A. So, oops. All right. This year in chemistry, I have learned many things and not learned many things. Some made sense, some did not. A lot of the chemical formula stuff made no sense. Uh, the balancing chemical equations, I have no idea. Uh, I did not understand it. 
Some of the things I didn't understand were solutions, acids, bases, and salts. I understand like the pH scale and other things that have to relate with it. Um, overall, I feel like I didn't learn much, but I did learn a lot of little things. Like when we took that test a couple days ago, was it the assessment. Yeah, assessment? I could answer all those. It made sense. So I feel like I did get that out of the class. Um, I learned things to a level that I need needed to know. Overall, it was a great class. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the field trips where we went to all the creeks. I wrestled Cade when we rolled down into the creek. That was fun. And overall, it was a good year. Thank you, Mr. R. Yeah, doggy. Yeah, doggy. Yeah, doggy. Yeah, doggy. <laughs> I learned a lot this year in Mr. R's chemistry class, although I was not here for the first three grading periods. <laughs> I believe that I have gained a lot of knowledge since I have been here. Um, something that was hard was catching up at first when I got back. Jake, stop. Um, but once I did that, it was pretty easy from there on. The only other thing that was hard was stoichiometry. Uh, one of the things that I found interesting was how the flow of energy works. Um, the difference between endothermic and exothermic processes was something that I learned really well. Another thing that I learned well was how acids and bases relate to like, the pH scale. Uh, thank you, Mr. R. Beautiful. This is my second year in a science class, but my first year being taught by Mr. R. I have now completed both semesters of my sophomore year with an A. I would not trade this year of learning. I have accomplished many things this year. Um, uh, including, we got to learn about the Lincoln County's watershed program. We got to go out and plant trees and other plants out in the bioswale with Graham. We got to be a part of like many chemistry labs. <coughs> Not only have I got to spend some time with amazing classmates in the classroom, but we also got to expand our learning outside the classroom. Uh, Mr. R has taught us many concepts like electrochemical cells, hydrocarbon compounds, functional groups, the chemistry of life, and we got to learn about nuclear chemistry. This year is ending very well. My understanding of the chemistry concept has grew, and I have built a good friendship with a lot of people.